Okay guys, I want to talk about area of composite shapes. Okay, and this is dealing specifically with uh, standard MA.6.G.4.2. Okay, we're talking about geometry here. Find the perimeters and areas of composite two-dimensional figures including non-rectangular figures such as semicircles using various strategies. Okay, and I'm going to show you probably the most common strategy that, um, that I use, but if you have another one that you want to use, by all means, I don't want to try to stifle your creativity, so use it. Um, first of all, let me give you a definition for a composite shape. It is a two-dimensional shape that is made up of two or more simple shapes. Okay, when we're talking simple shapes, we're talking triangles, rectangles, stuff that you should be very familiar with. Okay, to find the area of a composite shape, you divide the composite shape into its smaller, simpler shapes, and you find the area of each one of those simple shapes. Then when you find all the areas, you add all those areas together, and that gives you the total area. Okay, so this is kind of an example. You start off with this original shape. It's kind of a weird, odd shape. We don't know what it is. We don't, really, we don't care. Um, but then we, we look at it and say, okay, yeah, I can see a triangle right here, and I can see a rectangle here. So I divide it into these smaller shapes, and then I can find the area of this triangle, the area of this rectangle, add the two together, and then I have the total area. So we're going to look at a couple examples. First one, we need to find the area of this shape right here. So what I've done is I've divided it into simple, smaller shapes. I realized I could draw a dotted line here, make a rectangle here, draw another dotted line here, and I have this rectangle, and then I have this rectangle. So I have a total of three rectangles. I have to find the area of each one, and that'll give me, once I add them all together, the total area. So for shape one, we have a rectangle. The way to find the area of a rectangle is you multiply length times width or base times height. So I kind of color coordinated them. I got the pink for the pink. This is the big shape we're looking at. We notice that this length here is 12, and we don't know what the short side length is. So we can use either the top or the bottom to help us find it. I decided to go ahead and use the bottom simply because I had more room on the board. Um, but this length here is 15 meters. Okay, All I need is this length. Okay, If this is truly a rectangle, then the length of this side is going to be the same length as from here to here. Now I can find this length from here to here because I know this amount and I know this amount. All right. So what I've done is I've drawn this little measuring tool here that says from here to here, all right, from here to here is 15 meters. All right, and I know that from this dotted line to here is 10 meters. So if I know this portion of it is 10 meters and the whole thing is 15, well, how do I find that unknown? How do I figure out what that length is? Well, I can simply subtract the 10 meters from the 15 meters and get 5. So I know that this distance here is 5 meters. All right? So I plug it into my equation. A equals L times W. 12 times 5 equals 60 meters squared. All right? So this whole area here is 60 meters squared. The next shape I look at is a rectangle again. It's a smaller shape here. And I use the same formula. Area equals length times width. So here's the length. Here's the width. I simply multiply 7 times 3. I get 21 meters squared. The next shape I look at is this blue one. And it, once again, is a rectangle. So it's pretty simple. Area equals length times width. I multiply the length times the width. I got 10 meters times 3 meters, which equals 30 meters squared. Now, I have all my dimensions covered. I go ahead and add the areas together of the simple shapes to get the large composite figure sh um, area. So I got 60 from the first one, 21 from the second, and 30 from the final one. 60 plus 21 plus 30 is 111 meters squared. We're going to get a little more complicated with a different shape here. Now this one, um, we're asked to find the area of the shaded portion of this shape. So we have this rectangle here, and we have a smaller rectangle inside that's not shaded. So the, the, the thought process here is that you have to find the area of the big rectangle and then you have to subtract out the area of the smaller rectangle and that'll give you the shaded portion. Okay. 
So the area of a large rectangle, we have 12 feet by 10 feet. There aren't any unknowns in this one, so this is pretty simple. All right, 12 times 10 gives me 120. That's the total area for this rectangle, okay? Now, I want to get the rect area of this smaller rectangle. It's 7 feet by 2 feet. 7 times 2 is 14. So that gives me the area of this smaller, light-colored rectangle. So in order to find the shaded portion, I have to subtract the smaller rectangle from the larger rectangle to find the area of that shaded region. So 120 minus 14 is 106 feet squared. Final example. Even in the standard, it asks you to find the uh, area of a shape that's even non-rectangular, like the semicircle here. So here we have this shape that includes a semicircle, and I can see by the dotted line that I also have a rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle the rectangle first, because to me that's the easier one. So shape one is a rectangle. That's area equals length times width. My width from here to here is three, and my length from here to here is eight. So I multiply 8 times 3 and I get 24 centimeters squared. Now, a little trickier, semicircle. Well, what is a semicircle? We talked about it before. A semicircle is half of a circle. So, the formula for a semicircle is to find the area of a regular circle and divide it in two. So that's what I have here. Area for a circle is pi times the radius squared. And then I just divided it in two to come up with the area of just half the circle. Okay? So what I have is, and I, we were told to use pi for equals 3.14. So I went ahead and plugged in 3.14 for pi. And then I got, well, wait a minute, I got a 4 here, but I got an 8 here. Well, guess what? The 8 is the diameter. Okay, we can't use diameter in this equation. It has the r there. So we need to use the radius. Well, the radius, if you remember from a previous discussion, is half of the diameter. So half of 8 is 4. That's why the 4 is there. So 3.14 times 4 squared over 2. I go ahead and do the squaring first. 3.14 times 4 squared is 16, still over 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply my 3.14 times 16, and I get 50.24 over 2. So I divide 50.24 by 2, and I get 25.12 centimeters squared. Okay, so that is the area of the rectangle, that is the area of the semicircle. We need to combine them or add them together to come up with the area of the total shape. So, I take the 24 centimeters, add it to the 25.12 centimeters, and I get 49.12 centimeters squared.